So SV-98, nice example of a Russian rifle from Snow Wolf. As you can see, it's bolt action, magazine fed at the bottom, and it's got this nice carry handle. In the nice sleek looking green, this is already two-toned, so obviously no need to worry about spraying this or buying this without a UCARA license. Come straight from the factory like this. Snipers being snipers, it's nice and long. You've got all the features of the back here to make it extra comfortable. You've got the cheat guard, you've got the butt plate here, all adjustable so you can get in that right firing position for yourself. At the top, obviously, you can see here you've got your mounting rail, so your Picatinny rail here to attach your sights and your optics. As mentioned, you've got your carry handle here, nice and useful, obviously, if you wanted to carry this around between games, but also it acts as a little barrier for your scoops. So if this thing goes and bangs on the floor, your scope's not gonna get damaged. And you do also have a little iron sight at the front here. So one thing I really like with the sniper already is the easy access magazine hatch here. So you've got a little button there so you can easily pull the magazine out like so. Magazine, the loader is at the front here. So if we tip this upside down, we just need ourselves a speed loader. Once you slot your magazine back in, you'll be able to easily find the hop adjuster under here. So mid game, you can easily access that to make some slight tweaks and adjustments. First step is trying the cocking handle, which feels nice and smooth, which is a good start. So verdict of the SV-98, it's not too bad actually. Nice beefy rifle, got some weight to it, looks okay. I like the adjustments on the back to obviously make it suit any firing style. Don't know if I'm a massive fan of the carry handle. I think this thing looks a bit strange and odd on there. However, I guess if it rolls over like a motorbike. Also the last downer for me, the cocking handle was slightly bit iffy. So when I was pulling it back, it feels a little bit stiff as I was getting it going. Probably needs a little bit of oil on there just to get it lubricated a little bit more. However, not a massive problem. I was still able to pull it back and it is quite easy. As you saw on the chronograph, it's not as powerful as I probably would like it straight from the box. I was expecting over 300 at least. However, it's okay for a beginner, I guess. So this might be the rifle for you.